Ah, oh, Mitsubishi, what a lot of bull you are trying to sell here, really. And we have now day number nine after the last drop of capacity. And we start the dog this morning and see if we now it has stabilized has it stabilized on 38 ampere hours now forever that is the big question this morning uh, we've got uh, 12 degrees on this sunny clear winter morning Look at this sky, huh? It looks very cold. And um, yeah, heater heater is running. Heater is running full blast, 15, 4.5 kilowatt, uh, 22 degrees inside, and the recirculation is on, of course. Battery is going strong. Battery is going strong. I sometimes arrive at work with 32 kilometers. On the gong that is insane you remember before the battery replacement in December when it was warm now it's winter it's cold the battery is on um, 20 degrees average 18 22 degrees so back in December when it was warm the battery ran optimal I could barely make it to work in home and I arrived there with about 20 kilometers of range left and now I've got over 30 sometimes including heater running totally insane battery is very strong full capacity full EV range restored I just hope it stays like this but as we know it won't it just won't still haven't changed my blinker tone here I could barely hear it the blinker tone is just not loud enough for me in my age, as someone pointed out on the forum. <laughs> well, and someone on uh, on Facebook on the uh, Outlander PHEV forum shared his dog, his battery history from a 2019 model with um, increased capacity battery. Um, basically saying he's at 87, 87.5% or something or now he's on in, in less than 15,000 kilometers he lost more than 17% and he commented on his on his screenshot saying don't worry it will flatten out eventually <laughs> I don't know where the confidence comes from when these people posting stuff like this that is amazing. I mean, 17% down of the battery of a brand new car, less than one year old, potentially. And then saying, don't worry, it's all good. Well, and some people also are saying they're not losing range when the battery capacity goes down. How do you maintain the same EV range if you have less capacity left? How is this physically possible if you have less ampere hours in the battery? So effectively a smaller battery, but you claim you can drive the same EV kilometers. How does that work? This is against all physical laws. You make energy out of nothing, out of out of hot air or something then I don't know how this works the only explanation well the only it can only be explained by the driver gets more efficient and especially with the, with these guys having the car new so less than a year old now they are still learning how to drive the car how everything works they they realize how to drive more efficiently and what we had talked about it in the in the past already in many of my videos the driver gets more efficient while the car gets less efficient and you compensate this for a while 
And this is exactly what many, many people have said. I said, yeah, that's right. I'm driving more relaxed with the PHEV. I'm driving far more efficient. I drive in B0. I drive in B0 most of the time and let the car just coast. You know, let the car roll. When you know there is a 60 kilometer zone coming soon, you put it in B0 and then you let the car coast. And over time you get this, um, this driving habit and driving style. And this compensates for your loss of EV range. 20 ampere hours of capacity gets you double as far as 10 ampere hours. So the available capacity is, is linear to the, to the EV range, of course. And if you lose three or four ampere hours already in your car, this goes off your EV range, clearly, but you compensate for that. Otherwise, it would be against all physical laws. So then please explain where your additional EV range is coming from. Yeah, and guys, this is not a bad thing. I mean, the EV teaches you how to drive efficiently because you always are trying to squeeze more EV kilometers out of the car, of course. You want to go further, especially when it's, when it's really tight. Um, I mean, I have no problem at the moment here with uh, 30 kilometers to work and back home. Easy within EV range of the car, easy. But if you drive a little bit further, if you have 40, 45 kilometers to travel every day, this gets very close to the actual EV range of the car. And once the battery goes down, you say, damn it, I could make it to work before. Why can I not do this? I must have driven a little bit more sporty, like, like I do all the time, you know? And then you try to drive more carefully. You let the car coast, you drive, not as not as you, you you don't drive normal anymore it's like the phev driving style you adapt and this makes it work all right guys i've arrived at work now uh, let's see after work if the capacity actually drops or if it holds until day number 10 tomorrow who knows maybe we see another 10 days between the drops maybe even 11 days can we make 11 days for the first time with a new battery? Is this possible? I don't know. Totally empty car park here this morning. Just a shopping trolley. Because some of the shopping centers, they still haven't realized that you can have this little chain on it and you ask the the consumer for a dollar for a two dollar coin to put in aldi does it for years since we since we are here aldi has the system with a coin in top and then you bring the car back and you get your coin back they don't do it they they don't do it and you find these shopping trolleys everywhere in town because people taking these trolleys back to their cars wherever they park and then let the freaking trolley sitting in the car park and then it runs downhill and smashes into your car I've seen this numerous times. Insane. They they really <sighs> and then after a while and then after after 10, 15, 20 years they come up with the same idea as Ali did it years ago, 10 decades ago, and they celebrate this as a new invention, as a, as a wonderful good idea. This is pretty much how it works in Australia. Everything has been invented elsewhere already. They just need to Google. They look around a little bit in, in the world, you know, and find, oh yeah, we can do this like this and this, and it solves the problem. No, not here. They, they don't want to hear about anything of that. They want to invent, they want to invent their own, their own wheel again, and then celebrate what a good invention this is. Anyway, morning rent again. 25 kilometers but this was with heating on so without heating it's about 30 kilometers and I wasn't driving carefully at all 70% um, still heaps and heaps and heaps of energy left it's good very good I'm very happy with the performance of the car all right let's do some work at work and see you later
so now slowly everyone at work knows that I'm driving this PHEV now and I gave another test ride this morning with uh, three people from the environmental department very interesting they were all amazed of course <laughs> about the car I didn't mention anything about the battery problem this is more like educating people about electric cars electric vehicles plug-in hybrids and all this kind of stuff and I told them look if you want to know more about the car just have a look on my channel subscribe share and like yes yeah, so I did uh, another test drive this morning and let's have a quick look at the state of health yeah the car is down to 23 mm, minus 1.1 is fine but still 38 amazing it stabilizes at 38 ampere hours who would have thought and thanks again for all your comments on my video yesterday about about my statement that this problem may go away from Mitsubishi over time because people are selling these cars the next owner doesn't care anymore about these issues yeah you are obviously right if you have a legal case against Mitsubishi in terms of uh, fuel consumption and emissions the emissions are obviously pretty interesting because they don't actually tell you that the car uses more fuel over time they don't tell you the emissions will rise so you you certainly have a point there and i'm and i guess once governments figure this out it will have consequences for mitsubishi eventually they need to take these problems seriously and fix the issue with the battery degradation but at the moment they deal with individual cases for these cars uh, continue replacing batteries doing DB cams resets whatever procedures they can to lift up your state of health of the battery and to keep you as a happy customer over 70 or 80 percent and I think from this point of view Mitsubishi is pretty relaxed at the moment and and they, they can just sit back and relax and watch the situation basically because there's not too much we can do as a customer, as consumers, to make them provide an update for this. As long as they say this is as per design, this is um, on purpose, the car runs optimal. Okay, let's have uh, lunch. <laughs> I really <laughs> minus 0 0.1 it's the same day it's it's really the same day just in the afternoon and it has dropped 0 0.1 amp hour as predicted it is very constant battery condition see from the 22nd to the 31st which is today 0 0.1 amp hour down again eight nine days before it was 10 days so between 8 and 10 days it goes down 0.1 ampere hour is this normal for batteries well I, I'll tell you something about my battery tomorrow in tomorrow's video I promise this one will be too long because otherwise people are complaining again um, that they need to watch my video on 1.5 speed or on 2 speed because it's too long you know you need to do what people want you to do. I said, look, I don't care. As long as you click on my on my advertising, I don't care. <laughs> of course, I do care. 0 0.1 ampere hour down. Nine days. Oh, well, at least I've got another eight, nine days, ten days left now till the next drop comes, which will be in August. So it's not too bad, you know? It's not too bad and this is as I said this morning this is all capacity which you lose it's not like you the the capacity goes down and you're not losing range no that's not how it works you're losing range every time this happens you're losing range because the engine kicks in earlier the predicted available range for the BMU gets smaller of course you don't you don't feel this 0 0.1 ampere hour right away when it happens so I still can make it home now but I can already feel 
the difference from 40 ampere hours to 38. These two ampere hours, like, what is it, 5%? Yeah, it's 5%. You can already feel that. That is a couple of kilometers less I cannot achieve anymore. But it might be because we've got winter time now, so our temperature is a little bit colder. So it's always hard to tell with these small um, differences if it's actually the degradation of the battery or the software or is it the temperature, is it your driving style because you're driving a different... It's a bit hard to tell, but over time you will see it's definitely the battery capacity and the loss in EV range. I could have sold the PHEV again three times today to work colleagues. But I cannot recommend this car. Even I love driving it, I love driving electric, I love having this car. It's perfect. It's not perfect, it's, it's good. But Mitsubishi is not able to provide a correct setup for this software and says this is normal, this is on purpose. So this is on purpose. That's what the manufacturer says. So how could you even promote this vehicle you cannot you cannot tell anyone yes buy an outlander phev it's a great car it is not it has a big issue with the battery and the software this could be the golden car for mitsubishi you know they could sell they could sell millions of these cars if the software would work as expected from the customer It could be their most sold car ever because everyone would everyone who is driving one right now would just promote it and people who are driving with you you show the car off with your friends and family and work colleagues and everything they are just amazed about this um, technology and they love the fact that it has a battery and um, petrol engine as a backup but you cannot you cannot tell anyone and say yeah that's a good car it is not it is not a good car with this fault here 0.1 ampere hour in between 8 and 10 days that is Mitsubishi that is the biggest ever that's a scam because you don't tell people when they buy the PHEV that the EV range will go down quickly not just in 8 or 10 years no 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 after one year after eight days it goes down <sighs> okay uh, let's um, just enjoy the drive home and hopefully we get some rain Okay, so back home, I'll tell you more about my battery tomorrow in tomorrow's um, video. Tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. And you will see some weird things going on with a brand new battery and brand new calibrated software. It is unbelievable. Okay guys, so far you stay charged and drive electric. And we'll see us again very soon in the next video. Alright, bye bye.